We're still down at the Dubbo Sustainable City Expo and again we've been talking to various people involved with electric cars, own electric cars and there's been lots of people really interested in this area. Now Wayne, you've bought a Nissan Leaf and I love the Nissan Leaf. I had the Nissan Leaf uh, many years ago. I, I had a, a Nissan Leaf and I thought they were a great value for money car. Now you've been very smart. You've picked up one of these second hand. Yeah, that's right. So um, basically we were thinking electric car is a good idea, but we didn't think it was in our price range. Sure. And then I noticed from Facebook that your first electric car was a Nissan Leaf. Yeah. And I noticed the prices of them were pretty reasonable second yeah. hand. Yeah. So it's just a matter of finding one that had good batteries, good condition, and it's blown us away. Yeah, it's great. So how hard was it to find the Leaf? Uh, easy. So there's a lot of them for sale on the second hand market, and, but it's just a matter of of doing a bit of research to work out what you're looking for in an electric car. Yeah. So I know what to look for in a uh, conventional car, I know yep. what to check out, but what do you check in an electric car? Yeah. Basically, you're checking the batteries. Yeah, right. And there's a little graph on the display that tells you the battery health. This was 11 out of 12, so it's just a matter of finding out that. And so you found a few, so what was the sort of price range, if, if someone was out there looking for a second-hand Nissan Leaf, yeah, so that what was sort of us. price range? We were decide, I thought I'm not going to spend over $20,000 on a second-hand car, yep. we just in terms of um, that's what we try and do, yeah. and when they hit under 20000 I thought that's the time to get one. Yeah, right. So I think um, 20 to 25 will get you a really nice, reasonably new, three or four-year-old Nissan Leaf yeah, with good. good range on it. So what sort of range are you finding in, in real world? How many kilometres are you getting per charge out of this? 100 to 150 k's. Um, depends on who's driving <laughs> uh, So we live just 10 k's out of town. Two, three trips into town in a day is fine. The fourth trip, if I'm coming in four times in a day and home again, I've get, just got to keep an eye on to make sure I'm not um, going too close to zero. But yeah, like we only drive into town once or twice a day, so we hardly think about it. Yeah, and, and that, yeah. I think that's the important part. If you actually look at what you do most times, yeah. whether you live in town or live out of town, the amount of driving you're doing on average day is not that far because some people get that whole range anxiety. Yeah. But the reality is, if you're going to go to Sydney, you don't jump in this car and drive to Sydney. Exactly, that's right. So we've got the family car for the holidays and the Sydney trips, and this car's just for in and out of town. Yeah. And I, I haven't been to a petrol station for two months. Yeah. It's And I'm just thinking, why doesn't everyone else? This is like some secret. Why doesn't everyone know about it? Because once you do, gee. Yeah. And I think you're They're right. They're going to really take off when people find out how good they are. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's part of it, isn't it? That when you drive one, when you own one, you go, wow. This is changing the whole world. Yeah, that's right. And, and what are all these other people doing driving ice cars? Yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I reckon in the next few years, as the second-hand electric car market becomes not only affordable, but you're getting good quality cars there, yeah, people are going to realise what's and jump on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. So no, that's good. I'm, I'm glad to see you've, you've made the, the plunge and you've gone that way. And again, I love that car. It's yeah. a great little car. And you know, your advice, obviously, would be for people to go out there, go and find an electric car. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And like, that's what happened. I, I noticed you and a couple of other people in Dubbo uh, blogging about it and Facebooking about it. Then a few years later, I've jumped on board. Hopefully someone can say, oh, maybe I could try this and then they'll jump on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. If Wayne's doing it, then yeah. everyone should be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's good to, good to see people trying that and, and really appreciating the difference. Yeah, so we won't go back. Like, we'll have this for a few years and then be thinking about what's next, but it's been a really good experience for us. Yeah, yeah excellent. Well, well, good, and thanks for leaving your car today. People were very interested in the range of cars that are available, so it was great to have you all. Yeah, I think, least. so I was, I was thinking electric car Tesla way out of the range yep. or I'm wondering down at the other end what do you got you got a car that's got really sluggish or heavy or or how's it going to work but very impressed yeah that's yeah. good uh, good to see you yeah thanks, thanks Wayne.